hey, hopefully this video is going to be helpful for you folks and you'll consider putting on one of the Clayway Sweet playlist at night. Just turn that volume down, then you don't have to listen to me and yammer all night long. Let it play from front to back. That's how I get paid by YouTube. And if you've got a question for me, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair Facebook Messenger. I certainly try to answer all the questions I possibly can for everyone that I can, every time I can. I will at least give you a response, and I certainly don't mind telling people that I don't know because I don't know it all. But because I'm down here at Accurate Engines, I have a lot more information at my disposal, and there's a lot of fine folks that work out at this place, and they are definitely knowledgeable people. So... We'll always go and ask them if I don't know something. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Accurate Engines here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, and sending me them sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I can't help you with your baby mama drama, but I certainly will try to help you with your automobile needs. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too, that I promise you. So what we're gonna do today is we've got a Ford Escape Mazda Tribute Mercury Mariner. And this thing smells like gas, runs like poo poo, and it's about as fast as your grandfather in 93 on Viagra. So if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love Ford Escapes. I think they're versatile, they're economical, they last a long while, and they don't generally have a ton of problems for what you have to pay for them. Very inexpensive automobiles, and I just think they're overall decent. They don't get the greatest fuel mileage, and in this situation, we definitely don't need it running bad. So with this particular vehicle, we're actually gonna replace the spark plugs and stuff like that, but, I noticed something while dismantling this to replace the spark plugs that you guys can check at home and I'm going to show you two little things that are big deals about these vehicles other than the spark plugs themselves. While I was getting set to actually do the tune up on this, put new spark plugs in it and I had a bad coil right here, um, I pulled off the PCV valve. Now here's what happened. The vehicle was smoking, blue smoke, running like crap. I could smell gas when it was running. I knew that the fuel pump had been replaced in this and I thought that they might have had a loose connection. I never really thought about what I'm about to show you guys. I went back here and I was pulling off this hose. When I pull it off, that should not be wet. This only has air coming through it. And when we put our finger over it, it smells like gas. And the reason for that is because we have a bad fuel pressure regulator. Now, I take my finger down there that was dry, it's wet. And I'm gonna show you what happens and how you can check that. So all you really need to do is just pull off this hose right here, have somebody turn the key on, they do not have to start the vehicle. And if it leaks fuel out of there, you have a bad fuel pressure regulator. So we got Cameron inside the vehicle and he's going to turn the key on and we should see fuel come out of here if this is bad. That is not supposed to happen. That's sending that fuel up into your intake and allowing the engine to run too rich, which will cause you to have smoking, misfiring, foul out your spark plugs, all sorts of things will happen. So we definitely need to fix that and replace it. It simply comes off with these two bolts and there's more than likely an O-ring underneath there. I'll remove it and show you folks. So the fuel pressure regulator is simply removed with two eight millimeter bolts. So once you get the bolts out of there, try turning it and wiggling it and pulling up on it at the same time. If that doesn't work, you can take a flathead screwdriver. We loosen the two eight millimeter bolts and we should be able to pull the fuel pressure regulator right up by wiggling it just a little bit and rocking it back and forth to get it up off of its housing. Pull that up out of there. And the tip of it broke off. 
Now we're gonna take a little screwdriver and we're gonna pop this off of here. Okay, looking down inside this, we basically have a little diaphragm. When the engine creates vacuum, it lifts up on the diaphragm, which pulls on this little cord, which tells the little microcomputer inside there what to do with the fuel and how much fuel pressure is going into the engine, etc. What happened is, is that diaphragm got a slit in it and it allowed that fuel to go inside that vacuum, hence sucking the extra fuel into the engine causing us to have a big problem. I wanted to also point out before I forgot, one of the things that happens when you're running too much fuel is all that fuel travels past the spark plugs and goes down your exhaust manifolds. Well, the problem with that is that eventually that fuel is going to ignite inside that exhaust and blow out your catalytic converters. And on this particular vehicle, the catalytic converters are mounted right to the exhaust manifolds. So then that burns them up and then you're spending hundreds of dollars. So when you have one of these and it starts to misfire, I highly recommend you get it taken care of as quick as possible. I'm not saying you can't drive them a little ways, but remember, you're gonna do quite a bit of damage to that engine and cost yourself a lot of money. This woman was actually told that her engine was no good. Something else that I wanna point out to you folks is when you're replacing your spark plugs, no matter what kind of maker has made the vehicle, always ask for what came in it OEM. All this hoopla and all this crap about these E3s, Bosch Platinum Plus 4s, all that garbage, it's a waste of money. This spark plug lasted for 100,000 miles. The new spark plug, if it's the same as the original manufacturer, will last 100,000 miles, and you won't be second-guessing your work. Years ago, I put in some Bosch Platinum Plus 4s. 10,000 miles later, I had a miss, but I thought, wow, there's no way they could possibly be the spark plugs because I just put brand new spark plugs in it. And of course, it was the spark plugs. All right, so I wanna point something out that is not always the case, but is extremely common when you have a bad coil. When you have a bad coil, the tip of the spark plug right here will be all rusty. And I'll show you on this one, in this situation, you see how rusty that thing is? That means that this coil was not firing. You should never have rust right here if your coil is firing properly. Now, something that I want you to keep in mind, if you do have a bad fuel pressure regulator like I had in this situation, your oil is probably gonna be full of fuel, so you're gonna wanna change the oil in the oil filter, or at the very least, pull your dipstick and smell your oil. Make sure it's not super gassy. I recommend changing it, but that's up to you. Now another simple check that you can make during this process without taking anything apart is a coil check. You want to see if one of your coils is misfiring. When you pull the plug off, you're going to notice a different change in the idle. It maybe even start to misfire just like this one did and you need to plug that back in. If it makes a change, the coil is good. If it doesn't, the coil is bad. When I did my tune-up, I moved my known good coils from the front to the rear and moved my unknown bad coil from the rear to the front so I could change them easily later. If you will, consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, and sending me them sweet old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. Reach out to Accurate Engines and tell them that you appreciate the Clayway bringing you this video, saving you a couple hundred dollars from taking it to the repair shop. You feel a little bit more informed and you can thank Mr. Lanny Hassel down here at Accurate Engines for paying for this video so you guys could see it. God bless and have the greatest of days. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next of them. Be the first of you.